What is happening guys? Cowboy here and welcome to Monster Hunter World. So I know after the last episode I said that would be the final one, but I figured you know, we've covered 10 weapons. It would be kind of silly to not go all the way and cover the remaining four. So instead of this series just being my favorite weapons, we're going to cover all the weapons. But anyway, with that being said, we are on to the bow. Now, coming back into Monster Hunter after having not played for a while and having... You know, almost zero experience with the bow. I think the only time I used it was um, just like trying out different weapons back in Monster Hunter 3. And the bow was absolutely terrible trying to play that on my original 3DS that didn't even have the like little, uh, little circle nub. So the bow never got touched. And coming into Monster Hunter World and trying to play with it, uh, my initial thought playing with the bow after you know using the bow guns was... What is the point of this? It feels like a poor man's bow gun, you know, especially in the demo where we only have three different coatings compared to like 15 or so different types of ammo that we get using a bow gun. Um, you know, and I was thinking, oh, well, what about mobility? You know, well, the light bow gun has mobility and I couldn't find the draw of it. And even though it seems really simple on the surface, there's actually a fair amount of finesse involved in using the bow to really see its true potential. Uh, so the basic idea behind the bow, let me actually, hang on a second, let me take off my coatings, okay. is we can charge our arrows. But instead of just charging every time, you charge, dash, shoot, dash, shoot, dash, shoot, dash, shoot. Then you can just run around until your stamina is up and do it again. And basically you can rotate this, this, um, this cycle, if you will, to just do a very high amount of damage to a target. The other big thing is your Dragon Piercer, which you can do that if you're aiming by hitting both Triangle and Circle. And Dragon Piercer will go completely through the target, very similar to the Weapon Stakes, or uh, alternatively, a good way to, in my opinion, a good way to think about it is, in a sense, it's like a spammable version of the Weapon Snipe. Just minus the explosions. So we're going to get right up on his ass here. You can see just how much that pissed him off. So anytime you use it, it's important that you hit as much full body as possible. Because otherwise, you're not really piercing. Yeah, that's tasty. Shoot, 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 shoot! Ooh, man. Armor saving me. Aside from that, with Circle, we have Quick Shot, Power Shot, and then Arc Shot. Real fast, you can use all three of those in a row. Um, arc Shot is mainly just to provide some nice damage, kind of like uh, consistent damage, as you can see right there. If you're aiming, and then you hold Circle, you can manually aim your Arc Shot to get those little balls out on the enemy. Um, and they don't do a ton of damage, they're really just there to provide constant damage on the enemy. I'll usually use... Uh, I'll use the shots when I'm trying to paralyze something, like right here.
can see right there, one thing I want to point out is, as he was getting farther away, you may have noticed we did really low damage. The thing with the bow is there's kind of a uh, sweet spot, if you will, for where you really want to be hitting your target from. Dragon Piercer, it doesn't really matter. He can stay right on top of him. But you may notice that we are just paralyzing him over and over again. That's one of the beauties of the bow, is you got all these different arrow types. No, they're not arrows, but the coatings, you have a lot of them. Whereas, you know, if we're using the bow gun, I think we get, I don't know, I want to say it was like 12 paralysis shots. We got coating for days. Poor guy, he's already just ruined. Try and catch him before you. It's all the way back. Hey, Mr. Bird. He's going to die in a second. Can I get one more? I don't think he's going to let me get one more. No, he's pretty tired. He probably will. And there he is. Barath is down. So. All right, you completed the quest. Congrats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're going to do another hunt right after this. We'll go for a... Uh, Jagras or something, but as you can see, even though initially, you know, the bow seems like, okay, this, this doesn't seem like a really high damage weapon, under the right circumstances, you can absolutely shred monsters with the bow. Um, especially things that are kind of heavy-headed, stuff like, um, you know, the Bearoth, um, Diablos, I mean, even Rathalos. There's videos of people completely shitting all over Rathalos with using the bow. And all in all, it is a solid weapon. So we're going to jump in. We'll fight Jagras real fast just to give it a, a little bit more showtime. You know, this is kind of a... I honestly, to be completely frank with you guys, I did not think Barith was going to die that fast to the bow. But a Dragon Piercer is pretty disgusting. And that's probably the, the, the bread and butter, at least, that I found with the bow in the beta is paralyzed coating dragon piercer paralyzed coating dragon piercer and you know even though it gets kind of repetitive um you know being that you're able to like charge fire and then dodge and do a charge shot and then work in your quick shots power shots into the arc shot to stun stuff up like there ends up being enough that you are still mixing it up and it doesn't feel 100 percent repetitive and on top of that and hitting multiple dragon piercers are actually it's it's really satisfying. It's not quite as satisfying as hitting that like full body Weavern snipe where the monster's like kinda laid out and you enter in through its nose and go all the way through and pop out its like its tail. Like that's probably out of all the things in this game, I think a a head to tail 
Wevern snipe is probably the most satisfying thing for me. It's just like, oh my god, you're gonna get destroyed. Um, but Wevern snipe, at the end of the day, it's you know, it's very similar, just faster. It's a faster version of Wevern snipe. Which once I came to terms with that, it actually made me enjoy using the bow a lot more than I was. This is gonna be fucking silly. We're gonna be doing a, do a speed run on this guy. Add up. Add up. I didn't even bother grabbing the extras. Add on. Is he coming this way? He is. Okay. Those barrels might be a little too far away, but... like a good angle. God, that damage. Oh, and I fucked up. So one thing you'll notice there is my power coding came off. Uh, if you're not careful, and this is actually something that I've noticed myself quite a bit, is I'll accidentally take off a coding when I'm trying to do up for a Dragon Piercer. Let me show you the meaning of blank range death. So we could probably kill him, but I want to do a uh, do a mount attack to this guy. I can. Yep, there we go. Come here. Mount attacks are so much fun. It's like I could kill him by just hitting him with Dragon Piercer repeatedly, but doing a charged bow shot to the face is pretty freaking entertaining. Oh, he didn't charge it all the way up. so good. And Great Jogress is dead. So, I think you guys get the point, though. Um, you know, I could do a longer hunt, something like an Anjath, or... Uh, initially, I wanted to actually... I was recording this episode using Rathalos, but so far, I killed him with the Switchblade, and that is the only weapon I've been able to solo him with. I've gotten him close with a couple other ones, but... Um, I mean, I like the bow, I think I'm okay at using the bow, but I don't feel I'm a good enough bow user to take down Rathalos with it yet. But either way, that's the bow. Um, you know, even though it seems like it's kind of weak, as you saw right there, it is anything but, and it can put out tons and tons of damage, especially if you keep your monster knocked down or keep paralysis on him or whatever the case is. So anyway, thanks for coming by and checking this one out. Obviously, we're going to have the other three weapons coming your way, so make sure to stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys with those next time.